Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Andrea and this is Beauty with Andy. If you've not been here before, a massive a warm welcome. And if you have, welcome back to the channel. I really do appreciate your support. It does mean so much to me. So today's video is going to be a bit different than normal. Normally on a Monday, I do my weekly shop my stash review. I think I'm going to scrap this for this week, but I will be doing something in place of it. So all the um, weekly shop my stash that I put in on Wednesday has just got to stay in just because they've not had enough use um, and I'll be pulling some like new products that I wanted to give a try like there's something from the chopping block that I want to give another try and see if I like it. Um, so we'll talk to you about all these products. Basically I'm going to my mum's for over Christmas only for a few nights. Um, and I want to pack a minimalistic makeup bag. I don't know how well I'm going to get on with it. The makeup bag is this size. Now when I do my makeup in the bathroom I normally take this great big thing with me. Um, so I don't know how well we're going to do with this to be honest because it is only small. I really like it though. I got it a few years ago for Christmas. Um, it's kind of a dupe of the Charlotte Tilbury one, but there's this like gold foil with kiss prints on it. Um, so yeah, really, really like it. Never used it before, and I thought, what perfect, what a perfect size. Um, it is really to take to my mum's. I don't want to take too many products because I might not even wear makeup while I'm there. It is just a few nights, like I said earlier. Um, there is quite a, quite a lot of room in there. Um, so yeah, I just want to see how I get on. The eyeshadow palette that I'm taking isn't that big, so that's a plus for me. Um, so yeah, we'll see how we get on. So let's go over to my makeup collection drawers. I'll actually um, talk you through the everyday makeup drawer that I use because I am taking some products from there, so we will go into that as well. Right, so this is the little makeup bag I took to my mum's with all my makeup in. Um, I am filming this bit after I film the intro. Um, so yeah, it is a little bit late going up and I'll tell you all the things that I used and all the things that I didn't use. Um, because things didn't go according to plan. So yeah, um, let's just delve into the makeup bag. Right, so first thing is this. Too Faced Natural Eyes. Now I was actually thinking about decluttering this, um, but it is actually a really nice palette and the formula is still the same. So the eyeshadows that I used were Heaven, that matte um, like cream ivory shade up, up the top. Then I used Nudie, which is that like brown matte shade there. I used Cashmere Bunny as well in the crease. I also used, what's that called, Silk Teddy, which is that one there, um, just in the inner corners. And then for the lid colour, all over the lid, I thought I would um, just use, I don't know, kind of a matte shade. So I went in with this shade here, it's called Erotica. Um, but yeah, it's a really, really nice palette. I do want to get a little bit more use out of it, but I'm going to put it back for now. Um, because I'm at home now and I will be for quite a few more days yet um, so yeah I mean I did spend Christmas Eve Christmas Day um, I was at my mum's Boxing Day as well and I decided to come home Boxing Day night so that's that one the mascara um, of choice and I use the word choice very loosely is this Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect and it's the waterproof version. I really don't like it guys. I can see me actually getting rid of it. I did want to use it up but or at least use it up till the end of the month. Um, but I've already been using it probably about four or five weeks and I know I don't like it so it's pointless me keeping hold of something I don't like and it's really frustrating me using it even though I can get it to work when I use um it's down here somewhere when I use this one 
Um, so this mascara from Kiko pretty much works with any mascara that you've got and it gives you that false lash effect. Um, it's the false lashes concentrate and it lengthens your eyelashes. It's a really good mascara. Um, so yeah, like, like it says, it's a top coat mascara. Um, so I can get them both to work but I'm just not a lover of the effect that it gives. Then we have this one. This is new to the collection. Um, so yeah, this is the Nip and Fab Travel Palette. I really, really like this. And I could just take this traveling. I could just take this as an all-in-one. So we've got the highlighter there, a blush there, and bronzer there. They are super pretty, guys. Um, I'm going to do a video on everything probably do like a first impressions on everything new that's in the collection in January um, so look out for that right and then we've got this spackle hydrating moisturizing under makeup primer I did only wear makeup once while I was at my mum's over these three days um, so yeah I used this one, this one was really really good, I, I enjoy that anyway, um, I've said that before, I took this bronzer and didn't use it just because the Nip and Fab travel, travel palette has got a bronzer in it and that's a really nice bronzer so I didn't use this one, I know I like it because I use it a lot so that can go back. All these products are going to go back I think apart from this one, this one is in my weekly weekly makeup stash it's the essence all about matte fixing powder so that can stay out um then i've just got my dirty sponge there um also use this but first espresso eyeliner um from essence i really really love that it's the only brown eyeliner i've got i've been using this um foundation it's a right mess. It's nearly all gone now. Probably enough for one or two uses and then it'll be gone. It's the PS My Perfect Colour Foundation and Contour Stick. Then we've got the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer in health. Well, it's a healthy glow one. Didn't use that either, so that will be going back. Then we've got the Revolution Fast Base Concealer. The day that I used makeup, I did use this one. Then I have this Dior um, It's the Dior highlighter. I didn't use it because the Nip and Fab um, palette had a highlighter in it and I wanted to test that out I know I love this one so that can go back use this NYX um, milk crayon as like an eyeshadow primer um, so that'll go back didn't use this um, yeah I was going to use it when I went out but I didn't end up going out so yeah I didn't use that see so, yeah, Urban Decay in the shade Solstice Um, I didn't use this Clinique Ginger Pop blush either, um, so that'll be getting pulled out very, very soon because I really, really do like it. Use this The Body Shop um, Brow Duo. This will stay in because it's part of my project pan um, <clears throat> and I do use it on the daily, so that'll stay in. Um, didn't end up using this highlighter by New Look either. Is that everything out of there? Yeah, that's everything out of there. So let's move that back. Um, then we have this Revolution Radiance palette. I ended up using this when I put makeup on that, that day. Because, um, like I said earlier, I have only used makeup for that one day. Um, didn't end up using this palette either. Um, so I do want to talk to you more about this in an upcoming video and maybe use it. Um, it's the Duo Highlight 9 colour palette. I'm almost positive I showed this in the um, intro but I will show it now. Just let's move all, this thing, all these things out of the way. 
right so this is what the highlighters look like they are just truly truly beautiful um i love them all <clears throat> these bottom ones um are not really highlighters for me um they're more like I guess you could use them as highlighter toppers, um, but they're more like eyeshadows, um, like duochrome eyeshadows. That's basically what I got the palette for. The palette was just $5.99, which is a steal for all those highlighters. So I can't wait to use this more going forward. And then I'll show you the brushes that I took to my mum. Right, so the brushes comes in this little, like, very, very plastic, um like pack not packaging like container t type thing it's really really good i forgot i had this i got it when i went to portugal just to keep my brushes like safe um and it also comes with things like this inside it but i've had to take that out just because um there's too many brushes in there but i will show you what it looks like i'll open it up right so what i like about this is you get these two little pouches here plus this one here and that one goes on the other side but i had to take that out just because i didn't have enough room for all the brushes that i thought that i might need i only did my makeup in the end one time so i needn't have worried about even taking makeup because i probably could have gone without it um because i did we didn't really do anything on christmas day just typically watched films and you know cooked the turkey and things like that um and just generally chilled out so yeah i didn't really need makeup to do that um so anyway let's get into the brushes these can come out by the way just like that one over there has come out and i'll show you that in a second um so these are all the brushes that i took plus them there we'll get into the other ones in a minute so this one is I think that's one this one is my newest real techniques brush now I got this on the sale I think it was about six pounds um, and I really really like it and I went back for another one but they're all gone um, I'm not too sure what number it is I'm sure it has a number on it but I'm not too sure oh yeah it's um real techniques free or two and they was reducing these because they brought out a new line um, so I just thought I would get it I thought I'll get one and I'll see how I get on with it and um, I really really liked it um, they're brilliant for bronzer so that's what I use that one for bronzer then I've got this one this one is a new one um, I got this for Christmas it's so this one is a new blending brush that I've added to my collection um, and it's by the company B I don't know if that's super drugs online I'm not too sure about that um, I think it could potentially be super drugs online um, let me know if you know in the comments down below um, so yeah I used that yesterday and it's really good then I took quite a few blending brushes um, because I didn't know one how long I would be staying and two um, I didn't know how often I would be wearing makeup so this is my favorite blending brush that I have it's the Soho blending brush really really love it I've said this before I got this from TK Maxx originally and they just not they've just not had any in since I bought it I've had this one years um, so yeah if I saw more I would definitely buy in bulk like three or four they are really really good um, this one is the duo fiber um, real techniques it just says duo fiber eye brush but I use it to do crease work um, just to get in like into the actual crease that I'm working on um, so yeah that's that then we've got another crease brush this one oh it's falling it's fallen right so it fell I'm <laughs> sorry about that um, so this one is by BH Cosmetics the numbers rubbed off so I can't tell you what number it is but I got it from TK Maxx in it like an eyeshadow set so I do have a few others floating around like that are similar like why do I say that twice <laughs> that are similar to that um, then I have a Zoeva crease brush as well this one is I believe it does have a number on it it is the 226 Luke's crease brush that one's a really good one as well 
Um, we have a Real Techniques. This one is a crease brush as well. What's this one called? Deluxe crease brush. Um, and I don't use it as a crease brush. I use it just to pack like a cream ivory shade all over my lid. Um, so that gives it a base. And then I've got this one. I got this one from my friend in Australia for my birthday a couple of years ago. This one is Cargo um, Magic Eye Brush. It's a really, really good brush. I really, really enjoy using this, especially like for the outer corner um, to pack to pack eyeshadow on there. Then I have this one. This one is um, a smoky eyeshadow brush, but I don't use it like to put eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I use it to put um, like an inner corner highlight on my inner corner. And then the last one in here is my new look blush brush. It's really, really good that. Um, so I love that. And then here um, we've got another Real Techniques powder brush. I just use this to blend all the like blusher, bronzer and highlight together. So it looks all seamless. Then I've got a Shan XO one. I can't remember which one this is. I've got a feeling it might be the Shan XO tulip brush. Um, so yeah, love that one as well. I've had that a couple of years. Then I've got this Real Techniques buffing brush, which is really, really good. And I use that for powder as well. Now, so that's all the brushes. Then this here, um, if you don't have a lot of brushes, this can go here, um, which I like. And obviously you can put things there. And then... If you have more brushes, you can obviously take that out and you can take this out. Yeah, you can take that out if you don't want the brushes there, which I've only just realised. So we're learning, we're learning something together. And then you can take these out as well, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I really, really love this little case here. Um, if you can see it in your local TK Maxx, that's where I got mine from. I would highly suggest it, but I have had it a couple of years now, so you might not be able to get it. It's by the name Jojo. I don't know if that's a good name. I have seen a few things in my local TK Maxx, um, especially makeup bags um, called Jojo. I've had another one um, which I passed on to my mum. Um, so, yeah, um, I think it's really, really good, especially when you're travelling. It's not that, it's quite compact, um, and, like, and like I said, things come out, so you don't actually have to. You can pretty much put as much brushes in there as you want if you want to take a lot of brushes I don't know what that is there um, so yeah um, this is everything I just wanted to show you what I would potentially take traveling with me if I went traveling um, but this is what I took to my mum's for over Christmas um, hope you've all had an amazing Christmas um, and I'll see you again soon. If you've not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and notifications bell. It would really mean a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I always forget something. When I'm filming, I always forget something. So because these are liquids, well, that isn't really, but them two are. I put all my lipsticks that I was thinking about maybe getting more use out of in this little Sephora um, like travel bag. I got this Sephora travel bag when I went to Portugal. That is the only ever time I've been to Sephora, which is quite sad because I love it there. Um, so... I'll show you what I basically used when I was at my mum's and what I took. Right, so this is the one that I used. Um, this one is the Rimmel... What are these? Provocalypse. And this one is my favourite out of the two that I've got in my collection. I used to have more, um, but I've only got two left now. So this one is in Kiss Me You Fool. It's such a bright red, so, so vibrant. I did take a few pictures, so I will um, upload one so you can see what it looks like. 
and then I thought well I could take some pictures with this I absolutely love this lipstick but it is getting older now so I need to find an alternative for it so it's the PS Pro Kiss Proof Liquid Matte Lipstick and this one is in 02 Pink and Excess and then I took my Essence um, this is me zero two i think it's in happy yeah it's happy um i really really love this lipstick it's such a great neutral lipstick just looks like that um but yeah that's everything now and i will see you very soon guys see you soon bye